everyone, welcome back to Morgan's Movie Collection. I am beyond excited for today's little video because it was recently my birthday and I was treated very heavily, I think, to a new Blu-ray release that I've been kind of clamouring after uh, ever since it was announced and have been maybe not so subtly putting little hints out that hey it was my birthday coming up that kind of stuff um people obliged me people noticed these not so subtle hints and i was treated to opening on my birthday second sight's new monster edition of the texas Chainsaw Massacre, which is the absolute biggest box release movie I, I own of a single movie. Um, I can't even get my words out properly. It, it's got me that kind of enamoured, I suppose. I haven't even opened it yet because I did want to save doing that for this video. But it is absolutely enormous. I mean, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my very favourite horror movies. It, it really is. It's one of the most pure, effective horror movies you're ever likely to see. I can't wait to see what this particular picture looks like on this release. Because when I say it's a monster, I really do mean it's a monster. And we're going to get into it, but let me just read the back and what we have in here. If you're unfamiliar with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, um, I don't know really how, but um, you may be familiar with Leatherface. Basically, group of teenagers get stranded in Texas. There's a guy with a chainsaw. There's a weird family. It all goes pretty chaotic. And it is one of the forefront slasher movies um, like I said, it is one of the most effective, pure effective 80 minutes or 85 minutes of, of tense terror you could possibly wish for um, in just, you know, dealing with just the most outrageously insane people you could wish. And having such, you know, a wonderful original character as as Leatherface in there, obviously introduced in this movie. Um, but the movie is much more than Leatherface. I think it is a just a unbelievably good pure horror movie, like I said, truly one of my favourites. It's been a little while since I have um I've put it on to watch, to be honest with you, so I, I am very, very excited to see what this particular version looks like. Anyway, the features we get here. It is a three disc set featuring one ultra high definition and two Blu-rays with bonus features on both formats. You get the UHD presented in Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. Um, you get a new audio commentary by Amanda Reyes and Bill Ackerman. You get an audio commentary with writer, producer, director Toby Hooper. You get a commentary with cinematographer Daniel Pearl, editor J. Larry Carroll, and sound recordist Ted Nicolau. You get a commentary with Toby Hooper, uh, cinematographer Daniel Pearl, and actor Gunnar Hansen, who played Leatherface. You get another commentary with Marilyn Burns, Alan Daz Danziger, Paul A. Partain, and art director Robert A. Burns. An array of what must be fascinating commentaries there. I love that. The Legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, a new feature-length documentary produced by Second Sight Films. These guys, where is their logo? I'm covering it up, it's there. Second Sight, they're a, a, a wonderful little uh, Blu-ray company. They really are. They don't put out the amount that... Your, your indicators, your recurs, criterions, um, 
arrows, that sort of stuff do. They, they do not put anywhere near the amount of, of movies, of releases out that those guys do, but they put some serious effort into the ones they do. They uh, very kind of finitely choose or finely tune which ones they are going to uh, release and really do put this level of effort in, you know. And we're going to get into this box very, very shortly. But, uh, so we do have that new feature-length documentary produced by these guys. We have, uh, behind the mask, Alexandra Hella Nicholas on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The Shocking Truth documentary, uh, plus outtakes. Cutting Chainsaw with editor J. Larry Carroll. Grandpa's Tales with actor John Duggan. Horror's Hallowed Grounds. Uh, Flesh Wounds, Seven Stories of the Saw. Off the Hook with actor Terry McMinn. These are all featurettes. Uh, the Business of Chainsaw with production manager Ron Bozeman. A House Tour with Leatherface actor Gunnar Hansen. I'm very interested to see that, actually. Um, a Toby Hooper interview a Kim Henkel interview, deleted scenes, outtakes, trailers, TV and radio spots, and a stills gallery. And that isn't all, because this is a limited edition set, like I say. I don't know how many of these there are, but I know this lovely box is one of a limited number uh, that will not be around forever at all. Your limited edition contents are this rigid slipcase with original classic artwork that is really beautiful, if you ask me. It really, really is. Most impressively, I think, about this is you get an 190-page hardback book with new essays by Heather Buckley, Tim Coleman, Martin Conterio, Miranda Corcoran, Heather Drain, Lee Gambin, Caden Mark Gardner, Lindsay Hallam. Cerise Howard, Kimberly Lingbergs, Annie Rose Malamy, Maitland McDonough, Neil Mitchell, Jerome Router, and Robert Skvala. Illustrated by Adam Stottard and six collector's art cards. It is the book, I think, that really makes this special as well. Let's get into it. Let's finally open this. I have been waiting for this video to do this. Get rid of all this plastic wrap. Get rid of it all. Put it there. Look at it. Oh, it comes. Oh, okay. So the back of it, what I've just been reading, it does actually f fall away. And I'll probably keep that just inside because the back is just plain. So we have... Well, we have the art cards there. We have the book there, which is just insane. And the movie itself here. Look at this art. That is stunning. Back of it just showing the sun there. It all is just one shot of Sally running away from Leatherface and the hitchhiker there. There are the three discs. Again, beautiful artwork on the actual discs themselves. Um, I am completely taken away with this release. I knew this was going to be good, but this is really beautiful. Wow. Um, I love that. I do. I really love that. I can't wait to see what the actual art cards themselves look like. Look at this book as well. That is so... That is unbelievable. I mean, it's massive. It's absolutely enormous, for one. 190 pages of just Texas Chainsaw greatness. I mean, look at all that. I mean, you, the list of essay writers that I just listed off is staggering. and But you can see why. I mean, that is just the ultimate book on Texas Chainsaw, I think. You'd never need anything else. <laughs> this is the definitive release by by all accounts here. This is the definitive release of this movie there has ever been. And there will likely ever will be. Um, but let's get 
uh, into, let's have a look at these art cards as well. Let's get rid of this little wrapper. We have, okay, so we have, it seems they're just character art cards, but they are very, very nice. Obviously, nice one of Leatherface. I say nice, it's horrible, really. One of the cook, um, as he's lovingly referred to as. One of the hitchhiker, who is really disturbing. I always find him very, very disturbing. One of Grandpa. Half dead. Is he dead? Is he not dead? Look at him, Grandpa. This one of Sally's eye. Ooh. And one of Sally. They're all from the famous dinner scene in Texas Chainsaw as well. Well, they're not actually, are they? The Leatherface one isn't. The Leatherface one is when you just get that close-up of him kind of... The almost as, as, as human as the movie ever paints Leatherface is that particular close-up. I find it an interesting little shot, to be fair. But the rest of these are from the dinner scene by the looks of it. That certainly is because Sally spends her entire time screaming her head off in that particular scene. She really does. Wow. I can't wait to watch this. I mean, I know the movie so very well. I really do. But this is going to just look beautiful, isn't it? I think it's just going to add to the greatness of what is already a great horror movie. Let's just put all these nicely back into the box so we don't uh, damage anything or, or anything like that. That's the last thing we would want to do. But oh my God, second sight. You beautiful, beautiful people. And thank you for, you know, getting me this for my birthday. Let's just say that as well. You know who you are. Who got me this for my birthday so thank you very much and I could not be more pleased with this particular lovely lovely release that it is um, I can't wait to watch it but yes thank you very much for watching this latest Morgan's movie collection uh, video there are links to our social media, our Patreon support in the description of this video itself. There is a whole playlist of Morgan's Movie Collection videos on this YouTube channel. Subscribe, ding the notification bell if you haven't already. And let me know in the comments what you think of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What you think of this monstrous release from Second Sight. What you think of Second Sight as a company. Um, leave those likes, leave your thoughts. Please, I would love, love to hear them. And check out all the other stuff we have here on the It's a Wonderful Podcast YouTube channel, as well as, of course, the main podcast feed on all major podcast platforms. It's a Wonderful Podcast. We have you covered Monday with Monday Madness, Wednesday with Morgan Hasn't Seen, and Friday with the main show, It's a Wonderful Podcast itself. It's always a great time. There is an episode of the main show on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, actually from a long while ago, so by all means go back and listen to that, but maybe, I don't know, after watching this I'll uh, have found even more to appreciate from this great, great horror movie. Thank you again, and until next time, from me and the man himself, bye.